dear students under the topic euler equation here we have the next question find all the solutions of the equation x squared y double dash plus x y dash plus y equals 0 for x greater than 0 now we have to compare this with the euler's equation given which is given by x squared y double dash plus a x y dash plus b y is equal to 0 and from this we get the value of a to be equal to 1 and the value of b is equal to 1 on comparison. So after finding the value of a and b we have to substitute that in the initial polynomial q of r which is given by r into r minus 1 plus a r plus b and q of r is equal to 0. Now in order to find the roots we have to equate q of r is equal to 0. Now when we substitute the value of a and b over here, we obtain r multiplied with r minus 1 plus r and then plus 1 is equals 0. On simplification, we get r square minus r plus r plus 1 is equal to 0 and we arrive at uh, r square plus 1 is equal to 0 because minus r and plus r gets cancelled. So, r square plus 1 is equal 0 from which we obtain r squared is equals negative 1 and uh, the value of r is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 1 and hence the value of r is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative uh, 1 is i. So, this is the value of r. So, here r is an imaginary root. So, it is of the form alpha plus or minus beta i where the value of alpha is equal to 0 and the value of beta is equal to 1. So, this is what we obtain uh, from R. Already we have seen that if the roots are imaginary roots, then, then the general solution phi of x is given by x power alpha multiplied with c1 cos beta log x plus c2 sin beta log x. So, this is the general solution whenever the roots are imaginary. Now, since alpha is equal to 0, x bar 0 is 1. So, when we substitute the value of alpha and beta in this, x bar 0 is 1 and so we get c1 cos, the value of beta is 1. So, cos log x plus c2 sin log x since the value of beta is equal to 1. So, therefore, the value of phi of x is equal to this. So, this is a type of solution or we can also directly write the solution by using the formula phi of x is equal to c1 x to the power the root r1. So, what is the root r1 here? i. So, x to the power i plus c2 x power the second root that is r2 which is negative i. Either you can write the answer as this or the answer can be this also. So, um, uh, the general solution of the given problem is phi of x which, which can be this or this, uh, this answer also. So, therefore, phi of x will be equal to c1 x power i. Taking this x power negative i to the denominator, we get c2 x to the power divided by x to the power i. So, these are the two solutions which we can uh, have either this or this. We will solve another problem for our better understanding. And here x is greater than 0 and c1 and c2 are constants. So, the next problem is. So, here we have the next problem where the problem is the find all the solutions of the Euler equation. This for modulus of x greater than 0. We have to make a note that it is for all those values of x for which the modulus of x is greater than 0. So, comparing this with the Euler equation x squared y double dash plus a x y dash plus b y is equal to 0, we obtain the value of a to be equal to negative 3 and the value of b is equal to 5. So, after finding the value of a and b, we have to substitute them in the initial polynomial q of r 
which is equal to 0. So, we obtain the initial polynomial is r into r minus 1 plus a r plus b which is equal to 0. Now, substituting the value of a and b here, we get r into r minus 1 minus 3 r plus 5 is equal to 0. So, we get r square minus r minus 3 r plus 5 is equal to 0 and r square minus 4 r plus 5 is equal to 0. We have to now find the roots of this equation for which we will be using the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. So, minus of minus 4 plus or minus square root of b square is negative square uh, negative 4 square which is 16 minus 2ab. So, 2 into 1 into 5 which is 20 divided by 2a. Um, so, to, I mean uh, this is actually uh, b squared minus 4ac. So, 4 into 1 into 5. So, which is 5, 4 times is 20. So, kindly make the no, make note of that. And so, this will be equal to further minus into minus is plus. So, 4 plus or minus square root of. Now, what is 16 minus 20? It is negative 4 divided by 2. So, now further simplifying this, we get the value of r to be equal to. Now, if you see here, we can write this as 4 plus or minus. And when we take 4 out of the square root, it becomes 2 square root of minus 1, which is i, divided by 2. Now, 2 is common in the numerator. So, 2 plus or minus i divided by 2. And therefore, we obtain this to be 2 plus or minus i. So, therefore, the value of i is equal to, I mean, value of r is equal to 2 plus or minus i. So, from this, we observe that the value of alpha is equal to uh, 2 and the value of beta is equal to 1 because the real part is 2 and the imaginary part is 1 and we know that the general solution is given by phi of x is equal to c1 I mean x power alpha first so x power alpha multiplied with c1 cos beta log x plus c2 sin beta log x so, therefore, we obtain the solution to be and we know that we are considering the values for modulus of x. So, modulus of x and the value of alpha is 2 multiplied with C1 cos the value of beta is 1. So, uh, 1 log x. So, log and the value of x, uh, x is for modulus of x. So, we have to write modulus of x plus C2 sin beta is again 1. So, log of modulus of x. But we can, we know that uh, the square ro square of any value that is positive or negative irrespective of that, it is going to be a positive value only. So, we need not write modulus for this because we know that it is a square term. So, we can remove the modulus and we can write x squared multiplied with c1 cos uh, log of modulus of x plus c2 sin log of modulus of the x. So, this is the solution phi of x. There can be other sol another solution also. So, that solution is phi of x where we directly substitute the roots that is c1 x power r1 plus c2 x to the power r2 where the value of r1 is uh, equal to 2 plus i and the value of r is r2 is equal to 2 minus i. So, substituting these values we obtain phi of x to be equal to c1 x to the power r1 is 2 plus i plus c2 x to the power 2 minus i and this can be further written as c1 x square i mean um, this x is actually for a uh, modulus of x so we can write this as modulus of x power 2 plus i plus c2 modulus of x power 2 minus i because it's given in the question that modulus of x is greater than 0. And um, we can separate these powers. We can write this as x square multiplied with x power i. So, this will turn out to be c1. We need not put modulus for a square term. So, it's x squared modulus of x power i plus c2 x squared modulus of x power negative i. And so, further this can be written as which is equal to c1 x squared modulus of x power i 
plus c2 x squared divided by modulus of x power i. So the, these are the two solutions that is it can be this or solution of this type or it can also be a solution of this type. Okay. And this one we can complete it by taking this x square as common. So therefore phi of x will be equal to x squared multiplied with c1 modulus of x power i plus c2 divided by modulus of x power i. So hope you have understood how to find the solutions of an Euler equation when the roots are imaginary roots. Thank you.